Hello YouTube! Welcome back to How to Build an F14 Bobcat. So uh, it's now Monday. And um, I told you guys in the last video I would make a video popping these couple of molds open of the ventral fin and the canopy frame. So like I said, I'll do it. Since I'm pretty bad about making molds or videos uh, fairly consistently. So I just removed the, removed the clamps from that one. Little screwdriver. I'm not expecting much out of this ventral fin. Boy, it didn't want to quote it all the way on me last time. But if it comes out halfway usable, it's been a success. Next time I'm gonna do when I join these is I'll make a uh, I'm actually gonna make two different consistencies of that uh, epoxy and camisil mixture. I'll put the thick stuff down here along the the edge where it comes out to a fairly tight point, and I'll leave a slightly runnier consistency where I can put it down along the the flange portion of it. And then what that'll do is it'll make it to where you can put the mold up on edge and it'll run over. Uh, and fill up against heat. So you can see we had a little bit of stickage here on the part, so it kind of took a big chunk out of it. Um, there's some more in there. I'll probably mix up some milled fiber as well next time, so it's more, it's got some fibers to kind of make it a little stronger there. And then you can see here along the seam, it opened up a bit. It didn't seem very well. But uh, overall, I'd say that's probably a 20% success. 
Not perfect, but not bad either. And I probably come in here with a, a file and adjust that one little area just so a little a little less relief there, so it makes it a little easier to pop it out more next time on the next parts. So let's grab a scale and see how much this thing weighs. Even for it not to be seen completely here across the top, it's actually really strong. So I'll probably eliminate a layer of glass. <coughs> so we are at. Crap about it. Batteries are dead in this thing. Two point eight eight ounces. So fairly lightweight for this part. And uh, uh, go take care of a few things. The next time I'll start up, I'll get that canopy mold going. So we'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, sorry about that. Welcome back. So uh, now we get started taking this canopy mold apart. Again, just for a little bit of extra precaution to make sure that uh, that flange on the bottom stay flat. I just put some close pins down there to kind of pin it down. Just make sure it stays the way I wanted it to. Pull these clamps off, which I'll eventually replace with nuts and bolts. Probably captain nuts on the back side of one of the, the molds, and then just a, a quarter, 20 dollars I go through it. PVA there that's still kind of wet. Just gonna wipe that off for now. Then the top this thing will just kind of flip it upside down. It's a little bit of pressure on the the bolt flanges out here. Again, compressed air would work a lot better. But I haven't hooked up their compressor yet, so. on this part that didn't quite join completely together with that epoxy mixture. There you can see it really well. That stuff is just a little too brittle. It, uh, it's a nice little fillet in there that I put in and now it's just kind of cracking as you put any sort of pressure on it. So it won't be using that 
method anymore. Again, like I said, I'll probably I'm gonna end up using that West 6 pin for uh, putting seams and stuff together on the production part. So that little experiment to see if it would save me some money by not having to buy so much West system part. There didn't quite work. But there's a canopy frame, the second one. Again, not good. <laughs> Good layup, just uh, actually even a better layup than the first one. It's just fine tuning the layup to where you can get it exactly how you want it. And you can see here, that whole part just how the glue just kind of cracked and separated from the the frame portion of it. Again, this is the, the downside of this AdTech resin, that 301, is the mean bloom on it is just horrible. I mean, if you don't use some sort of pill pie or anything, you touch it and it feels like the resin hasn't even dried. It's just really tacky. But it's just, it's not, it's tacky because it leaves a really, really noticeable uh, waxy layer onto it. The first time I used it, I actually thought that uh, this stuff just wasn't cured completely. So I called AdTech and talked to a couple of their uh, tech guys, which are really helpful and extremely nice. They said it's just typical. And uh, either use pill ply or just wash it off with soapy, soap and water. So you can see the, the detail that comes into it. I know it's still crappy lighting for you guys, but put the light in just the right spot, you can see it. So it's really good detail. I'm gonna guess this one probably is right around five or six ounces. So yeah, we're six and a quarter ounces, and that's with all the, the excess stuff in, on it. And I'll spin you guys around. Zoom in, and we'll see how it it's, it's gonna be a little elevated compared to what it should be just because of the, the excess on the inside of the frame. Now you see this one, it sits up a little higher in the back. That's because uh, I haven't quite trimmed the back portion, the frame portion, this part here. I haven't quite got it trimmed down enough. So when you mold the two halves together, this isn't sitting completely flush on the, the bottom of the frame mold. So it comes up about about sixteenth of an inch higher in the back. So we'll put this one down in there. That yeah, fits a little bit better. It's still really high up in the back, but again that's it's got a little bit of twine and stuff here in the back that needs to be trimmed. So um yeah, that's where we're at. I mean, I'm not going to be doing any more work to this thing for a while until I get back from my work trip towards the middle of the month. And then I'm going to get back to making molds. So until next time, you ladies and gentlemen, have a good day.